We the novices from IPN Treaty wish you a happy Mother Founders Day. Today is a memorable day for all of us as we celebrate the 152nd heavenly birth of our dear Mother Claudine Eshonia. She had left us many good things, God's secret plan and mysteries of life to follow. Jesus said, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and they sprang up quickly, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Yes, Mother Claudine was sown on good soil, who heard the word of God and yielded a hundredfold. The works of Mother Claudine reveal that she was a good soil. The word of God nourished her daily life. The birds of anxiety, the thin soil of busyness, the thorns of many concerns did not threaten her, whereas her prayer life, humility, poverty, obedience and trust in divine providence were maneuvered to bear fruit abundantly. A plant needs five essential things to grow well and yield much fruit. Mother Claudine also had a number of essential things to produce a good harvest. Here we are to tell what made Mother Claudine to yield a hundredfold. A plant cannot live without water. Mother Claudine also could not live her life without practicing the virtue of poverty. She took care of everything as belonging to the good God. And she said we should never allow anything to be lost through neglect. Once, while journeying on foot, Mother Claudine met some religious of another community who were in a court. She sh said to her companion, Look at those sisters who edify us with their modesty, and we shall edify them by our poverty. Sunlight Sunlight is a key energy source for all plants. Without the sun, plants can't get the food they need to grow, reproduce and survive. The key energy source for her religious life was her vow of obedience. She had so much esteem for this virtue as for the other Christian virtues that she practiced it with all the perfection of which she was capable. Nutrition Plants' growth is dependent on right nutrition. The nutrition of Mother Claudine are her prayer life. She had understood perfectly well that prayer is one of the most essential obligation of the religious life. The more she advanced in age, the more time she gave to this holy exercise. During the last years of her life, when her weakened body could no longer surrender to hard work, she passed long hours before the Blessed Sacrament. She kept her mind recollected in the holy presence of God. Air Air is necessary for plants to grow and survive. Plants breathe and they need oxygen to convert food into energy. The air of Mother Claudine was her neighbors, especially those who were in need of her help. 
the orphans were particularly attracted her compassion she had taken in when they came to beg at her door she instructed them taught them to work helped them to make their first communion and did not allow them to go away unless she was sure that someone continued to look after them space plants need space to thrive stems and leaves will only grow if they have space to expand in the same way mother chlorine also had space for the virtue of humility having been born poor her desire was to live and die poor and humiliated she esteemed the virtue of humility so necessary for the salvation of soul she was convinced about her nothingness and incapacity without the right condition the seed will lie dormant and never bear fruit the grain needs water sun nutrition air and space to grow well as we rejoicing over the 152nd year of mother claudine's joyful entry into heaven let us be deeply inspired by her personal examples today the world needs not our work alone but much more our life of witness to christ jesus founders day is the founders day we celebrate the journey today founders day is the founders day we thankful and grateful is day founders day is the founders day we celebrate the journey today founders day